Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. And my sister, Miss Karen, Titus 2 and 3, because Miss Karen's standing right here. Read. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged women likewise. Miss Karen, you are an aged woman. How old are you? 57. That's 57 years of experience that you can show a young woman. Think about it. Today's young woman, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how to clean. Your generation knew skills. Your generation understood family, togetherness, building a community. Your generation understood that. So that's knowledge that you can pass to these young sisters. Some of them don't know how to bathe properly. These are things that you can teach them that God is requiring you to do. Read. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness. God said you got to be holy. You're only holy when you keep God's commandments. Romans 7 and 12. Hold this. Get Romans 7 and 12. We always talk about being holy, sanctified. The only way you can be holy, my brother don't go nowhere. Turn the bike around, come here. The only way you can be holy is if you do what God says. That's it. Y'all understand me? It's not if I read a book. It's not if I pay you some money on your infomercial. No, simply do what God says. That's how you be holy. Read Romans chapter seven and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. What's holy? The laws, the rules of God is holy. Read. And the commandment holy. And the commandment holy, read. And just and good. So if the law is just, good, and holy, if I keep the law, what that's going to make me? That's going to make me holy. That's going to make me good. That's how you be holy. Go back. Read. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers, False accusers, not lying. A lot of women like to lie, lie on each other. Read. Not giving too much wine, not being drunk. You gotta teach these young women they can't be out here being drunk. Now is not the time you gonna walk down 79th and be drunk. People getting robbed, killed, kidnapped. You gotta be sober when you outside. My brother, come over, come listen, read. Teachers of good things. You hear that, Miss Karen? You got to be a teacher of good things. Those good things is up in here. The Bible teach women how to be a wife. This is the knowledge we missing. This is the information we missing as a people. Read. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. That's what the aged woman got to teach. If we would teach each other these characteristics, you wouldn't see baby mamas and baby daddies. You wouldn't see teen parents. You wouldn't see mass incarceration rate on our brothers. They have to be taught by the elders. But guess what? The elders got to be teaching this right here. The elders must teach what God says. What man says will not change us. This is what will change us. Give me Acts 3 and 19. My brother, did you have a question or are you just coming over to listen? Just listening? So what we talking about right now, we were just talking about how we must be sober during these times because it's getting dangerous. We went in the Bible and showed how God don't want us to smoke weed. I was just telling the young man, God commands the young man to be sober. That's what we just read. You got people carjacking, people getting murdered, robbed. He got to be aware. We got to be aware when we walking around. You can't be high out of your mind. Bring it out. Just like the term they say, they say, stay on your square. How you gonna stay on your square if you have a drunk? They got a thing that they do. They ride up behind you, ram the back of your car, and make you think 
a car accident just happened and then get you to get out the car so they can rob you. That's what they doing to people right now. So you think you gonna be able to catch on to that if you high? No. If you drunk, no. If you sipping lean, no. You say what? Give me Acts 3 and 19. You gotta be aware. This is the book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So what we reading right here is a requirement for these people on this sign. I ain't get your name, bro. What's your name? Van Dam. Van Dam. What's going on, bro? Don't leave me hanging. You see yourself on there? Yep. I already saw myself. Where? Judah. Judah. Jesus Christ come from that chain, that same tribe. So if Jesus Christ come from Judah, what color is Christ? Black. Christ is a black man. Guess what? When Christ was on this earth, Christ followed these rules that we read. Why? Because that make you holy. We are not supposed to just be willy nilly just doing whatever out here. Don't make you spiritual. Read. Say what? Don't make you spiritual either. You said it don't make you spiritual? God gonna come from you either way it goes. No, sir. If you in the midst of sin, God ain't gonna deal with you. Oh, he gonna whoop your ass too. Exactly. Stay right here, bro. Read. <laughs> Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So God is calling out to us right now. Repent. Repent means to change. Like my brother Vandell. You just shared something that you used to do. You got to change from that. We all got to change. I'm using that as an example. You get what I'm saying? We got to change from the things we used to do because that's not what God want us to do. Y'all understand that? You got to change and convert. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. Who want God to forgive them for their sins? Show of hands. I don't need empathy, though. I don't need religion to lack empathy. No, we ain't talking about religion. Vendell, follow me. It said, repent and be converted. Converted to what? You know what I want. Converted to what? 19 and 7. What are we to be converted to? Because we tried religion. We tried it. Religion does nothing for our people. What's going to change us is the rules of God. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. What did it say? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Did y'all hear that? Vandell, Miss Karen, Billy? Yes, sir. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The laws of God is perfect. So if the laws of God is perfect, if I follow that, I'm going to become what? Perfect. God is not perfect. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. That's what you got to convert to. These laws will make you wise. We need to be made wise in these times we living in. Some of the rules, sis, you got to wear a dress. Bible say you got to wear a dress. No more pants, no more shorts, pants, none of that. Dress and skirt. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. All right? We are Israel united in Christ. We came out here to teach you blacks, Hispanics, who you are according to the Bible. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. Oh, you know